Hey guys, this is NDM here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Metroid 2 Return of Samus for Game Boy. In the last episode we got ourselves the, well actually we got quite a few pickups, we got a lot of major pickups. We got the um, Morph Ball Jump, the High Jump, and what else did we get? I know we got something else, oh, I can't remember. But in this episode, we are going to progress on, and you know that missile expansion that I was talking about in the last episode that was in that room? Well, it's not actually in that room, it's on the hallway that you go to towards, um... Well, yeah, that's it, I got the wave beam in the last episode too, I got the wave beam, the morph ball jump, and um, the high jump. Alright, so yeah, it's not actually in this room, it's in the room next door, you have to go up here, and the way how you get this missile expansion is by using this spider ball, and you have to go all the way up to the top here. Now what you want to do, you want to use your morph ball bombs to bomb out this wall here, but what you want to try and do is not go over, go too over the top with it, otherwise you're going to end up falling down, so, and like that. Uh, that's not what you want to do, you want to try and cling on to the edge, but I don't think that jeep regenerates. Oh, maybe it does. Ugh. Right, so basically you have to do all this without falling, otherwise it's all going to regenerate, which means you have to start all the way back from the beginning again. And these controls can really go to hell, because <laughs> they're so annoying, I don't get it. What's... Why are these controls are so... Oh, what? I was nowhere near that morph ball bomb, did you see that? Wow, the radius on those things must be really high to knock me off, but knock me off balance like that from that distance. Ugh. Yeah, I can see this is going to take a while for me to actually do. It's not, it's not the bombs that's annoying me; it's the controls. Just trying to get used to them. And we're on what part six now, and we've had the more that we've had the spider ball since part two. So. Talk about getting used to them and playing the game for ages now and ugh, ugh, it's the stupid controls work damn you for once stop going inverted like you can never tell with this crap which which button you need to press on the keyboard to actually work the damn thing you always get stuck okay Alright, seems simple enough. Now I'll do that again, but it won't move. See? I was pressing the same button as I was pressing throughout the whole process of that. And... Urgh, it just changes every time. I swear. Alright. Do it again, then. Alright, oh, okay, so it wasn't left? That No, it wasn't right that time, it was left? When the whole time I was pressing it right and it was actually working? Oh, this is where spider ball controls are going to start getting really, really ridiculous. And this is probably going to take up quite a lot of the video. And I'm going to try and do this without any cuts, because what's the point in making cuts? And now I'm completely stuck, and I'm actually moving, pressing every single button on the damn thing. And it's not working, I'm stuck. Well, I was stuck. How the hell did I get out? God, they really screwed up the spider ball controls on this game. I can't seem to move again. Ugh. No, you're not going to get used to them. This is, it's the game design's fault, it's not my fault. Right, I'm not going to spend the whole video on this. If I keep screwing this up, then I'll just make a cut and then resume the recording once I've done, because it's getting to a point where it's starting to get kind of ridiculous. Okay, I just keep doing it like that. Uh, we should be nearly there now. Nearly there. And we're there. Right, now was that so difficult? <laughs> now I just gotta try and move again. Alright, now we can just get off the spider ball so we can roll across here and get ourselves our first missile expansion of the video, and maybe the only one, I don't know. It all depends if we come across any, but. As far as I'm aware, this area is now cleared out, so what we need to do is try and find a quick way out of here. I think we can bomb our way out through this way, I'm not sure, but if we can't, then we're going to have to tunnel our way down through the roof and fall down below. So exactly what I'm probably going to have to do. So 
so I don't know where we're supposed to be going next. I haven't looked up a walkthrough beyond this point. The only reason I looked up a walkthrough is to figure out how you get that missile expansion or where exactly it was. I knew how you get it, I just needed to know which room it was in so I didn't get confused. Right, okay, so... We haven't actually shrinked the lava down to any other further levels, so... I don't know what we're supposed to do here, if there's any other areas. Maybe this is bombable. <laughs> No, it's not. Okay. Well, we might actually be done for this part. I don't know, because usually after you've killed a certain amount of Metroids, th there'll be like an earthquake. That will indicate that the lava has shrunk, but so far it hasn't done that, so... I don't know where we're supposed to go, guys. I really don't. Well, not up in there, because that's going to take damage to you, so... <laughs> that's definitely not where you want to be going. We might actually just have to go back out again. Maybe something else has changed. Well, that's what I'm going to do anyway. I'm going to see if anything's changed in the main overworld. Because maybe that's the case. Because as far as I'm aware, we've pretty much explored everything um, in this area. Because we got the variety suit, we got the space jump boots, we got the morph ball jump, we got the wave beam, we're pretty much well tooled up. There are no more Metroids as far as I'm aware in that area, so there might be a new thing opened to us. All I know is that we've got plenty of missiles now. Well actually, hang on a second. No, there's spikes up there, you won't be able to get past that. Okay. Well, we could see if there's any sand we can break out on the roof that we weren't able to reach before. Hmm. Well, you can't turn into your morph ball, that's right. You can't turn into your morph ball when you jump and try and avoid these things, otherwise they'll drill down into the sand and get you stuck. So make sure you jump over in between the gaps. Don't fall in. Don't try not to land on them, basically. <laughs> Right, is there anything else in here? Uh, let's check. Morph ball bombs. All I can say is just bomb everything else. Just bomb everything that looks kind of suspicious. You know, something that doesn't look like it should be there. Because most of the time it's always going to end up leading you to somewhere secretive. Um, spider ball. Alright, if there is... No lava to be... Yeah, all the lava looks pretty much the same. It's on the same level, so... Well, I guess there is stuff that needs to be done in this area, but it just looks so very... non-linear, this... or very linear. I don't know which is the difference, non-linear or linear. I think it's linear for short, and then non-linear for big. So... Yeah, don't quote me on that, but I think that's the right... Um, right way of putting it. So yeah, this area is quite linear. <laughs> In terms of places you can explore, because this, this area is just basically one big open room um, with other rooms branching off it and like little tiny rooms branching off it and most of those little tiny rooms have already been to you know, we went to the room where the wave beam was found, we went to the room where the um, space jump boots was found. I'm not even sure if I've actually explored that area quite f thoroughly. Like, I don't think I've actually been through every single room in there, because there might have been rooms branching off from that giant room where there was all those blocks that you could shoot. Maybe there's something in there, I don't know. Well, you don't know until you check, so that's exactly what we're going to do. I think this is a dead end up here. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think that leads up to where... Well, I know that leads up to where your missile expansion is, but further up from where you find the missile expansion, I think, is just a bunch of spikes, so you can't get past that. So essentially, it's a dead end, so don't go that way. <laughs> and just like Super Metroid, I think I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the game, but just like Super Metroid... 
when you beat the game in a certain time, you'll unlock Samus in her, like, without her suit on. She'll just be, like, zero suit. Wow, why is these, why are these things so powerful? They're taking so much damage against you. I don't get that. Bubblegum dispensers or chewing gum dispensers are just way too powerful in this game, apparently. And I'm not talking about chewing gum like the, the little tiny cubed chewing gum. I'm talking about the long stretchy chewing gum because that's that looks at exactly what it's shooting. It's just long stretchy chewing gum. Uh, I have no idea where we are supposed to be going. Well, I guess the best place to check is where that room that I was talking about. And I think it leads up to here, so we have to go this way. And try and avoid these things along the way without getting hit all the way because if you get hit you end up uh, escalating downwards and that's not what we want to do. <sighs> I hate these things. It's just the um, movement that they make. The way how they move around. Alright, so let's see if there is actually something in this. I imagine that morph ball jump thing is going to come in handy somewhere or other. Because they wouldn't give it to you for no reason unless they just do it to make the game easier for you. Much like they did in Metroid Trilogy. But obviously this was the game where they got that idea from to actually put the morph ball jump, the spring ball or whatever it's called, into a Metroid um, Trilogy. Which makes the game ten times easier than what it was on the GameCube. Now, I know going that way is a dead end, so we should just look in this room, because I imagine that there probably is a Metroid lurking around in here somewhere. And if there is, then I am going the right way. If there isn't, then I am going the completely wrong way, and that's the room where all the missile expansions were, so we can cross that off our checklist. So there's nothing in that room. Ow, I'm trapped behind or in between blocks. Help me! <laughs> I'm being squished by chewing gum blocks or whatever. I'm, well, they're, they're not chewing gum blocks. They look more like Mario question mark blocks in some form or way. Alright, let's try to use our spider ball here, maybe. Hmm. Well, have we been in here before? Yeah, we have. This is where the wave beam was, I think. Yeah, this is definitely where the wave beam was, right? No, that's not the wave beam, that was where the high jump boots were, yeah, that's right. And we found our energy tank down here, too. Okay, so I forgot how we... Oh, yeah, we used the... Ah, dude, I can't get up there. Can't jump around the corner. <laughs> okay, I'm taking so much damage right now. I'm on one energy tank. I need more health. But there are no enemies to kill, so where am I going to get health from? The health fairy? <laughs> Is the health fairy going to give me something from Zelda? <laughs> Who am I kidding? There's no health fairy in this game. Be cool if there was, though. Alright. Yeah, I don't think there is anything in this room, to be honest. You'd think that there were, there'd be more rooms branching off this one, but there isn't. There's only two rooms that take you into different directions. So... And then this way is basically just a blatant dead end, so, huh. you know. Right, you have to use your morph ball jump here, or bombs, should I say. You can use your bombs, I'm pretty sure you can use your... Uh, no, you can't use your... Right. How, how did I do it last time? I can't remember how... Oh, well, that works, I guess. Yeah, just use your springboard jump to get up there. I swear, I swear, in one of the in like the last episode, I think it was, I used the more the morph ball bombs, and then I used the spider ball, and it actually got me up there. God, I swear these controls. Yeah, I'm very picky when it comes to. <laughs> when well, I kind of complain a lot is what I'm trying to say is when some kind some controls in games mess up when they become inverted. This is 
Like, if you're going to make a control inverted, keep it inverted throughout the whole game so then you get used to it. Not change it every single time you use it. Huh. I mean, that's probably my only flaw with this game so far, is that the spider ball controls are just way too difficult. I don't know what it's like on the Game Boy, so I can't really judge as such until I've actually played it on the Game Boy. Huh. Now, I have... Wait, have we been down here before? Um, no, I don't think we have, have we? No, we haven't. This is a new entrance. We've never been here before. Ah, right, so now we're finding stuff. At last, right. <laughs> yeah, we are getting somewhere. Okay, let's keep jumping up. Maybe there might be some missile expansions in here we can find. You never know, this game's cryptic. Let's try to use it. Like, these things right here look bombable. The, f the kind of fluffy things in the wall. Well, I'm going to go this way. Go in this direction. There's, I know there's going to be a Metroid around here, so I've got my missiles at the ready. Yeah, I'm ready for you, dude. Well, these rooms, look, these chambers look exactly the same as what they were in the other area we was previously in. But obviously not. These are different Metroids. Oh, that is, a, that is new. What the hell is that? That's completely different to the other Metroid we've been seeing. Wow, you're going to need a lot of missiles. Ooh. That was dangerous. <laughs> and close as well. I had to use quite a lot of missiles against that. Wow, that was a different looking Metroid. But yeah, I heard that the Metroids get a lot stronger the further you get in the game. The ones that we've been fighting at the start were called Alpha Metroids, I think. And then you get Beta Metroids, and I think you get Gamma Metroids. I think that's how they're called in this game. So this is obviously... Oh, this is an Alpha one. So I think the other one we fought was a Beta. Is that the last one of the area, or is there more that we need to fight up ahead? There probably is, because there's another room in here. Yeah, there are more. <laughs> A lot more. Wow. Sand everywhere. <laughs> this is Sand City. If there was a city called Sand City. Wow, that wave beam definitely takes care of that. Just completely annihilates all the sand. The reason why I'm shooting all this is just to see, because there might be some pickups down here that you could end up missing. I uh, want to make sure I cover everything. Because usually in places like this, there'd be energy tanks hidden around, moreover than missile expansions. So there's obviously one more Metroid lurking around, or maybe two, I don't know. And that's another Alpha one, so that's not too bad. That will actually hit it. No. Nope. Well, it hit. It definitely hit it then, didn't it? Uh, is that the last one, or are there more? Well, there are more. This is going on forever. Hmm. Well, this looks very suspicious, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Well, that's strange. You'd think that there'd be a bombable area around here, and this is a spider ball thing. Hmm. Well, there's definitely something you got to do in here. I know. I just know in the bottom of my heart that there is some bombable area around here. It might not be that one. It might be the one above, though. No. Okay then. Ah, right, hang on a second. I think I sussed something out. Get rid of this with the wave beam. Okay, that... Seems to do something. <laughs> it seems to do something. Yeah, it definitely seems to do something. It gets rid of all this crap. Oh no, there was another double chamber, wasn't there? Maybe this is just a dead end. Alright, so we'll go back then. 
Yeah, because there was another intersection where we could go back here. If I'm right in saying that. Ow, no, don't jump out quickly. <laughs> I bet the last Metroid in this area is going to be another beta Metroid, which is probably going to take a lot of damage against me, so I need to make sure that I am... Well, I'm not prepared at all, actually, <laughs> to be honest. Because I'm not very good on health at the moment. Oh, yeah, it is another beta one. It's stuck right in the sand there. This one actually might not be too bad if he gets stuck in the sand. He might not be able to get to me. Yeah, he barely got to me there. What's this? Health? Oh, thank God. Thank the heavens. We got our health back. And the lava has shrunk. So that means we have done something good. Yes, we've done something good. The lava is shrinking, which means that we can now gain more access to more areas. That was a long Metroid chamber. But nonetheless, we did it. Hmm. Now we just got to find our way back out. Because this is a long Metroid chamber. And there are two tall tunnels like this. So if we find the second tall tunnel, then I definitely know that I'm heading in the right direction. But the good thing is that the wave beam can get rid of all that viney stuff at the bottom there. I never knew that before. Well, I do now. Huh. And that's going to probably come in handy eventually, sometime, sooner or other. Maybe there's an energy tank in each area, like, there was one energy tank in this area, there was one energy tank in the last area, so I imagine there's going to be one more in the next area. Because you get, f I don't know how many you get in this game, I think you get five or six, something like that. And we got 26 more Metroids to annihilate. <laughs> uh, we're getting there anyway. Well, I'll leave this area and I think I'll end off the episode because we've done quite a lot. We didn't get any pickups as such. We only got one missile expansion, but we have made progress because we've killed Metroids. So that's good enough for me. And we got a new area to explore in the next episode. And I am actually recording a lot earlier than usual, so... Yeah. I'm probably only going to get one video of Pokemon recorded today, though, because I've got the whole Lapis Cave to do, and that's quite a long dungeon to do. It's uh, 16 floors long, so technically it's the longest dungeon in the game that we've came across thus far. Okay. I guess another way of avoiding these things is to shoot um, shoot a path down below you in the sand and then go through it like that. But I think it's just easier just to jump over them. If you miscalculate your jumps, it's not really too bad because you can easily get back out of it by shooting your way through the sand. Alright, I'm going to end off the episode here and continue on the next episode. So in the next episode, let's play Metroid 2 Return of Samus. We shall see where our next area is and look more deeper into it. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care everybody, see you in the next video, and goodbye.